portions, we like to add a little bit of extra milk or water um, to be able to steam the milk effectively. If you don't add any, the frother and the steamer just seem to never really heat up enough to steam. So if you think your frother is faulty, following the manufacturer's instructions, try a little bit of water in there. Now we're going to turn on the, the steam. We turned it from off and we're going to do a little frothing. So you can already hear some bubbles. Bubbles are being made. It's getting warm. You just move around your little cup. You can do this in like a mason jar or a measuring cup. Something taller is definitely recommended because the milk grows while it steams and then froths. You just kind of move it in circles. There you go, you hear a good magic sound. Once it grows, I'm going to pause this. it up there. I don't know if you can tell, but it's getting warm and it's starting to froth a bit. So it's going to go higher. You see it's getting into the lip of my, my jar here. And then I'm going to press pause when I go over to, to pause. We're going to press pause over here to finish the steaming. So as it gets a little bit taller, I'm going to pause my, my camera because we're almost there. It's definitely going to be hot enough by now. I'm going to let it grow about another centimeter in this in this cup. There's some good frothing. So, so I put down the cup, the phone for a second, but I turned it to pause with my other hand. I'm going to take it out here. I've already prepared my espresso and my glasses here. So I'm going to pour. You see, mostly the steamed milk comes out first. Our froth will come last. So I'm going to do that one and this one over here. This one's going to have a little more foam. But this is where people start doing designs and things. I haven't gotten into designs too much, but that is how you dollop the foam on top. The foam comes out last. These little cups for steaming are really great. They're so handy. You can even get a spoon and scoop some of that out if you really want your froth. But that's it. Thanks for watching. This is our new Sautec uh, espresso machine. Just bought, and I'm going to show you the parts first, and then I'm, I'm in just a little bit. I'm going to show you how to make a latte or a um, cappuccino. Uh, first off, it comes with these parts. This part here is the frother, which goes right up onto there, fits in there very easily. And then, of course, this is where the coffee goes into this cup, and the cup then goes up into here. Trying to do this one-handed, and there we go, one-handed. And then this is the carafe itself with the top. I've taken the top off. It comes with the top attached here, so it flops open. I've taken it off so I can clean it independently, and then also so I can face it forward here once it goes under there for um, less mess. Next part will be how to make a latte. Oh, first off, uh, this part I really like. This, unlike my last one, has the ability to pause this thing. So you can turn it on and it's heating and then you can pause it and it keeps hot but it doesn't go anywhere. When you turn it to here, it starts coming out down into the craft down here making your uh, espresso and then you, can, then you can go back and pause it. Uh, and then this part over here is when it comes out uh, into the frother and you make your froth for the coffee. All right, now on to, and we'll 
It's not plugged in now, so the light doesn't come up, but there is an on-off light down here. Now for how to make the First lock. thing I do is I turn on the machine, the light comes on, turn on pause, so it can be preheating here uh, while I'm getting ready with the other things. For the, I put a, we're making two, one for my wife, one for myself, so I use the whole carafe, fill it up with water, and then put the top back on. Then the next thing I do, come over here, get a good quality uh, coffee ground to espresso grinding. And then they have this nice little tamper on here and I tamp it down once and then I put another one in. And I tamp that down also. Since it gets a little coffee on the tamper, I put the tamper into a glass like that just to keep it coffee grounds away. Then this goes on. Uh, here and then we put this with the lid underneath it and soon the coffee will come out. Okay, it takes a, a minute or two for the coffee to get hot and then what we do is now I'm you can't see it but you remember I'm turning it to the cup which is putting uh, coffee now down into the craft down here but then I want to start to make my froth. What I do is I froth and heat the milk all at the same time. I'm starting with cold milk. And so now I'm going to turn the switch over here all the way from making coffee in there. To, and it comes out, comes out initially like that. And I let it sit in, inside the milk for a little while to warm in the milk up. This is for me. I like my I like my coffee latte really hot, uh, so I let it sit in here for a little bit, and then I'll gradually bring it up to the top, so air is getting into the very bottom of that plastic frother. You can hear it there. Air is getting in, and that's what is going to make the froth, is as you allow air to get in. And here it's coming in, and starting to froth, starting to get done. You can see it's getting these nice, nice, small milk bubbles there at the top, which is makes a nice firm froth for the, or steamed milk for your latte or your cappuccino. Cappuccinos, of course, are half coffee and half milk, whereas the latte is a lot more milk uh, than coffee. But there it is, and once you get to the, where you want it, which is right there is about where I want it, I turn it to pause. And my, cup's a little bit big so I just took this up bring it down and then here we're going to do my wife's and turn it off. Okay so now for my wife's uh, first off I turn it back to after it's been on pause I turn it uh, to make coffee just to release the extra pressure in there then I turn it all the way to frothing and my wife doesn't like it as hot as I do so I just try to make the froth as quickly as possible without holding the thing in there so I just put it right at the very top gently moving it up and down about an eighth of an inch uh, each time and it's I keep rising the frother as we get closer as we as the um, froth gets higher and higher in the cup and There we go. I think we're just about done. That's just about as much broth as she likes. So then I turn it, to, turn it to pause, get it out of there, and then I clean this very well, clean the metal part very well, and then after I take it off, and then after that you do that, you turn it to off, and it'll steam out of here. Okay. 